Hello friends, welcome back to UPSC video mock test series by friend of health. This is the episode 2 and I have already told you uh, with this video mock test series we are trying to give you a simulation of the real exam screen which we are going to face on the December 20 UPSC medical officer, research officer and general duty medical officer exam. And uh, these two episodes which I am uploading, already I have uploaded the first episode with five questions from uh, material medica and uh, five questions from anatomy so in this episode uh, there will be five questions from physiology and five questions from dermatology so the screen which you are going to uh, see may help you to relax on the day of examination and we have already exp uh, experimented this in AAPGT and uh, there were around eight episodes of video mock test series with uh, authentic uh, explanations but in these two episodes of UPSC video mock test series, I am not going to explain the questions. So there will be 10 questions which may be useful. But uh, the real thing will be the uh, demo test or the uh, simulation of the real exam screen will be helping you to know the options of answer, locking the answer, clearing the response, etc. So this will be the screen uh, in front of you when you are uh, getting into the uh, um, examination center. So system name will be there. Um, it will be like this uh, then uh, so you can have a uh, instructions like uh, contact invigilator if the name and photograph displayed on the screen is not yours so you have to check that so your photograph will be here your name will be there and subject uh, mostly it will be UPSC homeopathy or homeopathy medical officer uh, like that the exam name then uh, login ID and password you have to give mostly the exam invigilator only will help you regarding all this they may announce it uh, then you can enter the login id and password then you have to click on the sign in button once you click the sign in button you will be on the instructions page i have already told everything in the first episode so if you have if you are here after, without watching the first episode you must watch it because i am not going to explain much of the features of the demo test in this episode so there will be instructions page you have to read this on the exam day because you will have a lot of time and this will help you in your exam also so next button you have to click then again uh, some more instructions some around 23 instructions uh, uh, again will come uh, for the exam uh, what all things you have to take care then you have to click on the I have read done and that showed the instructions then uh, I am ready to begin then you will be on the exam screen where uh, your uh, subject will be there and uh, the photograph uh, your uh, number of questions answered the time the timer will be here then the question answer palette will be there whatever activity you are doing on the uh, questions and answers uh, whether you have answered you have skipped the question without answering whether you have not visited how many you have not visited how many you have marked for review and how many you have answered and marked for review so these things you have to take care instructions will be clearly there this answered and marked for review may not be considered in this UPSC exam but where in AAPGT it will be considered so don't get confused always uh, read everything properly the instructions then submit button, save and next button, uh, clear the response button, mark for review button, everything will be there. So here we are in the first question. The first question is from physiology. Which of the following structure in the spine is pain insensitive? Option A, nucleus pulposus, dura, annulus fibrosus, longitudinal ligaments. So these are the options. And here the answer is nucleus pulposus. So once you click the answer, uh, there will be a blue ring and blue uh, dot inside the option then you can uh, save and next if you are very sure if you are having doubt you can mark for review and next but you have to see here that answer and marked for review will not be considered for evaluation so at last if you have time you have to come back and uh, make it a save and next whatever you have kept uh, answered and marked for review if you don't want to submit that uh, question which you answered and if you want to clear it you can use this clear response option. Now I am clicking the save and next button. And you can see what happened. One is answered. So we are in the second question. The second question is which of the following neurons do not have acetylcholine as the neurotransmitter? Preganglionic sympathetic neurons, postganglionic sympathetic neurons, preganglionic parasympathetic neurons, neurons innervating sweat glands. These are the options. So here the answer is postganglionic sympathetic neurons. B is the answer. So once you click the B, you can see the change. What happens? There will be a blue dot and blue ring. So 
post ganglionic sympathetic neurons save and next so here the question answer palette you can see the change and the third question regarding contractile filaments which is true each successive pair of cross bridges of myosin filaments is actually displaced from the previous pair by 140 degrees the backbone of the actin filament is g actin molecule c adp molecules are the active sites on the actin filament d the strong affinity of tropomyosin for calcium ions initiates the contraction process so here the option c is the answer right answer so once you click the c save and next so i hope i am clear with the options the question answer palette the changes happens the timer everything and the subject so uh, this is a uh, going to help you for relaxing and uh, uh, hope uh, some of the questions in these episodes will come also for the uh, exam so fourth question juxtamedullary nephrons option a have smaller sized glomeruli b possess short loops of henle c have slow rate of filtration both descending and ascending limbs of loop of henle contain thin segments here the answer is d both descending and ascending limbs of loop of henle contain thin segments once you answer d save and next so the fifth question action of calcitonin is increases bond resorption increases calcium and phosphate absorption from gat increases renal formation of 1 2 5dhcc increases renal excretion of calcium and phosphate so the answer is d increases renal excretion of calcium and phosphate save and next so five questions are over from physiology so five were answered and uh, here this uh, model demo question there there are 20 questions that's why they are telling 14 are not visited five already answered and we are on the sixth question but uh, in this episode i'll be showing only 10 questions so five more questions from dermatology we will discuss so sixth question Pseudo isomorphic phenomenon is a characteristic of vitiligo, psoriasis, DLE, plain warts. Answer is D, plain warts. And say one next. Most common type of vitiligo. Seventh question. Most common type of vitiligo is segmental vitiligo, focal vitiligo, generalized vitiligo, mucosal vitiligo. So the most common type of vitiligo. Answer is. C generalized vitiligo you can do save and next then the eighth question an otherwise healthy male presented to the opd with a curdy white patch on the tongue the most probable diagnosis is candidiasis lichen planus histoplasmosis aspergillosis so the answer is a candidiasis you can click the save and next button so we are on the ninth question a 36 year old factory worker developed itchy annular scaly plaques in both groins application of a corticosteroid ointment led to temporary relief but the plaques continued to extend at the periphery the most likely diagnosis is erythema annulare centrifugum granuloma annulare annular lichen planus tinea cruris so this is one of the very repeatedly asked pattern in upsc a case type of question so where uh, a scenario case scenario will be in front of you the main features of that uh, diagnosis will be there so if at all you know the main features of uh, that diagnosis uh, sometimes only one point also will help you even in metamedica also some questions are like that even if one point if you know also you can answer but the problem is you may get confused with the very close running options so here the answer is tinea cruris d is the answer so we are in the last question of today's episode again one more case scenario a 16 year old boy presented with asymptomatic multiple erythematous annular lesions with a collaret of scales at the periphery of the lesions present on the trunk the most likely diagnosis is so this again collaret of scales at the periphery of lesion pteriasis versicolor pteriasis alba pteriasis rosea pteriasis rubra pilaris and the answer is pteriasis rosea so c is the answer once you are uh, done with all the questions maybe in upsc 150 questions will be there and 120 minutes only 2 hours may be there so you have to take care of your time you have to save your time from the homeopathy subjects and all 
and the small questions direct questions etc you don't spend much of your time if you are very sure just uh, give the right answer save and next and go on and always uh, keep an eye on the timer that's why i'm doing this uh, video mock test series using the demo file of the uh, upsc uh, uh, website so i have already done a video regarding how to take the mock test uh, while i did the uh, heartbeat card video itself i have already shown you how to take the demo test also i'll give the link in the description box so timer you always you have to keep an eye on the timer then uh, you have to use all these options mark for review answer and mark for review etc when you are sure you are uh, able to eliminate two options you can just do it and uh, answer uh, one of the uh, two which are left and uh, give answer and mark for review and if you are uh, in the second round if you get time and you want to answer that and you want to submit it you have to change it to answered by doing the save and next option not that if you are marking for review after answering it won't be considered for evaluation so you have to always save and next so you have to come back go back to that question wherever this uh, symbol is there zero or um, zero because you have not done any answered and marked for review in this episode if you have done that a tick mark will be there 11 and a tick mark and this purple color whatever is there you have to come back and you have to click on that so then uh, you can do uh, the change to save and next then it will become a green color so then only you can submit otherwise it will be auto submitted once the time is over once you submit the exam there will be a summary uh, like a section name number of question answered how many and not answered how many marked for review how many answered and marked for review how many not visited so there again are you sure you wish to submit this group of question for marking you cannot edit but view your response upon submission so yes you have to give then thank you your exam is about to be submitted click on ok to proceed are you sure of submitting the exam once again so okay so once you are done with the exam you have successfully completed the exam please click on the below button to exit so exit exam so that's all and all the best wishes for our viewers